Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing? I am so excited for today's video because we're going to be testing out a bunch of makeup from Beauty Bay. I recently saw they came out with a palette called The Book of Magic and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to buy it, I'm going to talk myself out of it. I don't need it and then you guys in my comments were talking about how beautiful it was and how affordable it was and also that the quality of the mattes in that palette were different than the mattes in the Nikki Tutorials palette with Beauty Bay so I thought you know what what the heck I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a chance and when I was on the Beauty Bay website there was a bunch of products that looked really good and I've never tried anything else from Beauty Bay except for the Nikki Tutorials palette so I thought I would go ahead and do a little haul and today we can do like almost full face first impressions of Beauty Bay. I've got eyeshadow, gloss, highlighter, blush, bronzer. So we've got quite a bit. We've got the little box here, which is actually super cute and bright. We've got the Book of Magic palette. And then I have one powder bronzer. I grabbed the lightest shade to test out. We have one blush from Beauty Bay, a highlighter. And then I also went ahead and grabbed the Be Perfect Get Wet highlighter in the shade Do You. I saw Aniela Kanique Fist use this and it was so beautiful. So I hope that the shade will work out for me. Don't know which, I'm probably not going to use that highlight today. Maybe we'll just end up swatching it. And then like I said, I also went ahead and grabbed a lip gloss just to test out. I got the little pastel eyeliner trio from Beauty Bay as well. This is the camera which version this is wow that is a really tiny print I think it says twilight so I grabbed three liners and lastly I also went ahead and grabbed this Nabla close-up concealer it just looks like this the reason why is because literally my shade the lightest shade porcelain was the only one on sale it was like half off and I feel like I've heard this compared to the Tarte Shape Tape I love the Tarte Shape Tape so much I just thought I couldn't beat trying it out for ten dollars so we'll go ahead and start off with that because I already did my foundation but I haven't put any concealer or powder on yet. Packaging on this is so beautiful as well. So like I said, I went ahead and grabbed the shade Porcelain. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that underneath my eyes. Ooh. Oh. That is very heavily fragranced. Man, it smells like something super familiar, but ooh, you know what it smells like? It smells like banana boat tanning oil. Not to be too like weirdly specific. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the center of my face. I'm trying not to go in with too much because, you know, it's better to start off with less and go in with more if you need it than to go in with too much. But there's a lot of product on the applicator since it is brand new. So on this side, I'm going to go ahead and try it out with a sponge. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that has good coverage. Okay, I'm not mad at that. And the shade is literally perfect. I'm using the Shop Miss A sponge, by the way, which is literally... The best sponge ever it's like a dollar and 55 cents i swear by it if you like any other sponge i <laughs> seriously recommend trying this out and just giving it a shot because i'll never go back also really quickly i'm just going to take my angled concealer brush from anisa beauty and try it out on this side It looks like the coverage is a little bit fuller on this side, but it also looks a little bit dry. Okay, I think I like the sponge more. I'm just hoping that it's not going to cause me any sensitivities because I can genuinely smell it on my face. That's how strongly fragranced it is. Also, don't mind my hand. I, um, I'm refinishing an another piece of furniture and I was priming yesterday and the primer is so sticky it will not come off my hands. I was scrubbing them for like 30 minutes last night. But, okay, so I don't hate it. I like it more with the sponge. I'll definitely keep using it, testing it out, trying it with different things. Let's go ahead and set the face really quickly. I'm just going to use a random uh, setting powder. It doesn't really matter. I don't have anything new to test out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out the bronzer. Oh, oh wow, okay, so that's actually like so thin and compact. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by that. And I like that the B is see-through, so you can see the shade just a little bit. This is the color Fawn. This is the lightest bronzer they had. I'm looking at it, I'm like, not completely sold. It looks very warm. Let's see. I mean, I don't know, it looks pretty pigmented as well. And it's not wanting to really blend from the spot that I put it. You see that? Okay, we're just going to go ahead and give it a chance, but I'm not sure just looking at it how I'm going to feel about this. I'm going to go in with a brush that's a little bit smaller and easier to blend. Hmm. 
I mean, it looks like it's blending okay. It's shearing out okay. It's definitely more on the warm, orangey side. From first impression, I don't think it's going to be a favorite bronzer. Yeah, no, I don't like the way that's looking. Rip. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of apply it on the other side just to look the same. And I'm going to do a little touch-up job. I'm just going to grab my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is the shade number one, Fair. It's like my lightest bronzer. And I'm just going to use that to blend it out a little bit. Hopefully make it a little bit less patchy. I guess I should go ahead and like take some down my neck. <laughs> Just like try and make it match a little bit. Honestly, the bronzer, I feel like it's off in shade, but it also just wasn't the most blendable formula I've ever tried. So I don't know if I would recommend that bronzer, but I'm going to go ahead and grab out the blush that I got. I can't even remember what shade I chose. It's probably a peach if I had to guess. Oh, okay. No, it's not. <laughs> this is the shade Blossom and it looked online to be maybe a dupe for NARS orgasm. That's what I was thinking when I saw it. I guess I could swatch them next to one another if I can find my orgasm. But let me do a little swatch. So there's what that looks like. I mean, it's like a glowy pinky blush. It does look pretty. I really just broke this mirror. <laughs> Today's not my day. Uh, anyways, here's what NARS orgasm looks like. It looks to be a little bit more muted. I don't know if it's going to swatch as well, but to be fair, this one is pretty old. So they're like the same vibes. I mean, this isn't swatching that great, but Orgasm's definitely a lot softer, but like the tone and the shimmeriness is very similar. Okay, so I just went in with a tiny bit, but I actually do think I like that. Like it has a really pretty sheen to it. I still think the bronzer looks really funny, so it's kind of throwing it off to begin with. But the blush is really nice and pigmented, and I like the glow. I wonder if they have any lighter glowy shades. Because I think these were only like $6 each. They're little face products, which is not bad. Alright, so I'm going to leave the face at that for now, and we can go ahead and jump on into the palette. You're not even ready. Like, this is so beautiful. Here's the packaging. And then... Here's the inside. Like, it is such a stunning palette. Oh, man. I feel like I should go ahead and do some swatches really quickly, even though it's going to be a little bit because there's a lot of shades going on here. So first we have the shade Vanish, which looks to be just like a light cream shade. And then we have the shade Stardust, which is so beautiful. I'm so excited about the shimmers. It's just a really stunning coral. Not coral. I meant to say copper. My goodness. <laughs> Okay, next we have Amulet, which looks to be like a mid-tone warm brown. We have Alchemy, which is a like just light gold. Again, all looking really pretty. I didn't even realize there were so many neutrals in here, but they're swatching nice. I'm nervous for the pastels because the pastel blue in the Nikki Tutorials palette was a hot mess. But first we have the shade Enchanted, which looks like a really stunning light kind of lilac. And then we have Manifest, which is a nice deep brown. Okay, we have Wish, which looks like a lighter kind of teal. That one is a little bit less powdery, but still looks like it has good pigment. And then we have Crystal, which looks to be like a bluey purple duochrome. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is stunning. The green reflect in that. I think I'm using that shade today. Wow, I love that. So we've got Sorcery, which is like a mid tone purple, and then Voodoo which is a deep purple that looks stunning. I feel like I'm gonna do a softer look today. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be disappointing, but I'm not feeling like super intense eyes today. Next we have Bewitched, which is a little bit of a darker teal. Again, that one is less powdery. We have Spell, which looks like such a beautiful shimmery teal. Okay, that one swatched a little disappointing, but look at that. Oh my gosh. Spell. Wow. Okay, next we have the shade Hex, which is a black, which looks really pigmented. I mean, dang. 
look at that. Even though I just watched it to the side and then we have the shade Charm, which looks like a really stunning purple. That one doesn't feel as like metallic creamy as some of the other ones I swatched, but still very beautiful. We have Elixir, which looks like kind of like a cornflower blue, I would say. And then Moonlight, which, ooh, that one's super, super creamy. It looks like a icy silver. Man, this is so pretty. I'm gonna do the last four shades on my hand just because I'm running out of room, but we have the shade Cursed, which is a really nice deep matte blue. I love that there's like a lot of deepening options in here. I think that's really fun. And then we have Jinx. You owe me a Coke. Just kidding, I wish I had a Coke right now. Um, and it's kind of like a deeper blue, kind of smoky shimmer. It looks like a little bit of a duochrome. Okay, I stink at swatching things on my hand, but there's what that looks like. We have like a cobalt blue, which is called Trick. Just looks like that. And then Potion, which is a metallic cobalt blue. Very pigmented. All right. So there's the blues there. I mean, overall, this is so beautiful. Swatched really nice, and I just think the color story is phenomenal. And like for $15, I'm a little bit shook. I definitely want to use this shimmer all over my lid today. And like I said, I might go for something a little bit more neutral and then maybe do like a pop on the lower lash line is what I'm thinking. Okay, so I zoomed y'all in for the eyes and I already went ahead and primed with my Crow and Pebble eyeshadow primer in the shade Parchment. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this shade right here called Amulet. And I'm just gonna pop that into my crease. It's blending really nice to begin with. Right, I'm going to go in with just a little bit more and build it up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dip into the shade Manifest, that like cool toned, deeper brown. Just grabbing a little bit and popping it on the outer V. Alright, and then once I have that placed down, I'm just going to go into my previous brush and blend out the edge. I do think that shade applied to my eye a little bit lighter than it looks in the pan, but overall no issues. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line really quick and I'm really drawn to use that shade right there, the shade Spell. I just thought it was so beautiful. So I'm going to take just a tiny little bit and pop that along my lower lash line. I think I might even go ahead and take just a little bit of this shade Wish. Pop that on like the front little portion of the lower lash line here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take that shade Crystal. I'm so excited about. It just feels and looks beautiful. I'm going to pop that. Oh my gosh. Popping that all over the lid. I love it. I love that shade so much. Like if I had to wear one shade all over the all over my lid for the rest of my life, this would not be a bad option. And the shift is so strong with it too. Like you can really see the green. I mean, I kind of just, you know, paired it with a really neutral crease, but I think that you could wear this with blue or greens and completely change the look of it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm just going to go with my crease brush really quickly just to soften the edge there. But I'm really, really excited about that shade. It's just delicious. So I think last but not least, I'm kind of, hmm, I feel like I could go in with like the light gold on my inner corner or I could go in with the silver. I feel like the light gold goes a little better with this look. We'll do that. Put that right here. Okay, so for the waterline, let's go ahead and swatch these pastel liners. Oh gosh, I hate that. They don't have anything marking the color. Like they all look the same and the font is so small. I might have to like find a way to print out a label or something for these because I hate that. So this first shade here is called Blue Skies. Looks so similar to ColourPop Prance and it was very creamy and pigmented. Okay, this next one is called Aurora. One is a very soft purple. And then we have the shade Minted, which is a mint. I'm so excited about this one. Oh my gosh. And they're all super pigmented and creamy. They look really beautiful. I think I'm going to go ahead and mint, use Mint today, but I'm so happy that I decided to try those. That's pretty good. 
pretty strong, very minty. I'm very, very happy with that portion of the purchase. So really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara and then I'll be right back. Okay, let's go ahead and do some highlighter now. We'll go ahead and swatch both of these. So the highlight from Beauty Bay is called Flash and I've always wanted to try their highlighter palettes. So I was excited to see they came out with singles because I feel like I've heard good things. Like even just looking at the pan, it looks super smooth. Oh, okay. That was a lie. It looks smooth, but it's actually a little bit powdery. It's just like a very icy kind of white shade. It doesn't look bad. Not at all. So I'm definitely going to give that a chance. See if it compares to any of my favorites. And then this Do You highlighter from Be Perfect I'm so excited about. Oh, okay. So there's what that one looks like. And this one actually is supposed to be like a wet highlight. Oh yeah, it feels like a super shock cheek. And the shade is just so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love a good soft pink. Look at that. That is stunning. Okay, I really... Hmm, okay, I'm gonna use the Beauty Bay one on my cheeks, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of this one on my nose. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm really... Okay, now I'm taking it on my chin too. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm really, really gonna like that one. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of this one. Just pop that on the chin, tops of my cheekbones. Ooh, okay, that's actually pretty intense. Wow, okay, this reminds me so much of the Ofra Glazed Donut Highlighter. Like, they could practically be dupes. I think maybe the Ofra one looks a little bit more smooth on the skin, but the color is very, very similar. If you have super fair skin, this is a good shade. Okay, just blending that in a little bit, but I do really, really like that. I think I might even take a little bit underneath my brow bone. I love a good brow bone highlight. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and try on this lip gloss. This is the shade Ballet. It just looked like a really beautiful light nude. I love trying super nude glosses and I feel like this actually does go really well with the look that I did today. Ooh. It smells like coffee. Like makeup coffee. Like the coffee products that makeup brands release that they say smells like coffee. Not exactly coffee. I like the shade, but it's definitely separating on my lips. I don't know if you can see that. It looks really, really bad. That's the thing with a lot of new glosses. They're really hard to do well. This isn't the worst thing I've ever seen, but I don't love it. Me Makeup actually sent me like a gigantic PR package. I'm so shook. <laughs> I have so much to test out, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of their glosses. They just came out with a bunch which is called Gertrude Candy 05. Oh, that's pretty. And the packaging is super cute as well. Ooh. Okay. I feel like I can feel the shimmers just a little bit, but I really like this because I feel like it's one of those glosses that looks super glossy, glossy. Like it's just so pretty i love the finish okay so this is the finished look and i really like how it turned out so overall the things that stand out to me the most i think that this palette is absolutely stunning i can't believe it's only 15 dollars. i know i did a very very neutral look today but i think it's fun that you can go so many different directions you could do a warm tone look a cool tone look purples blues greens neutrals all in this little palette and like i said the shimmers are absolutely stunning I'm really, really excited and glad that I decided to go ahead and get this, even though originally I talked myself out of it. I also think that this highlighter is really, really beautiful. If you're looking for a dupe for Ofra Glazed Donut, it's a great option. I know I didn't wear it on my cheeks today, unfortunately, but I cannot wait to wear this highlighter. I just think the texture feels so nice. The pastel liners are definitely a win. They look super pigmented, very bright. I'm definitely going to see how it lasts throughout the day. But from first impression, very, very happy with those. Kind of want to grab the other ones, although I did end up buying the LA Girl pastel liners because they were on sale. So maybe I could do like a pastel liner 
comparison swatch video or something eventually. The blush is nice, but I will say it's very, very pigmented, which isn't my personal preference, but it does have a really nice glow to it. So it was, it was nice. And then the bronzer I would personally skip on. I just don't really love the formula. I thought it was pretty patchy. The gloss from We Makeup is absolutely beautiful and comfortable and just juicy, so I'm happy about that. And then the concealer underneath my eyes right now, like it actually does look really, really good. Like it's not creasing a ton. It looks like it has a decent amount of coverage. So for $10, I'm really happy with that as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.